Welcome guys to the 2019 European Open Christmas Special. Once again guys, we're on East Ride New Yorkshire coastline and we're at a place called Alborough and with this year's winner, Mr. Chris Fisher, also with Mr. Glenn Wilson, Sunday's winner, and his son Josh Wilson, who won Sunday and overall junior champion. It's, it's a well-known mark, which is, it's very, it's quite close to San Lamia. You've got yes. Hilston in between, and it's very clean ground. It's easy access. There's a slipway yeah. where you can come down and you can fish and different things. And uh, the guys down here today targeting some different species. Obviously, it's June. We're down here in shorts. We've got the famous wellies yeah. on, as I'll probably get told all the way through. <laughs> but the reason we've got the wellies on is to get the extra shots in with the GoPros to see if we can get some fish close-ups in on the production. But uh, we've actually fished here many, many years ago. Don't yes. you remember? Yeah, um, with Papa G, Papa G. Darren Greggs. 2011. Was it 2011? Yeah, was it was it? that long ago. 2011, 2011 we were on this beach and uh, we had a lot of fish out on the day. And um, hopefully we can see a few more out today. Yeah. The guys are looking at the species when we were talking to them this morning. Dogfish, bass, skate, which obviously is known from anyone down our neck of the woods as formbacks. And spotted ray. Got a good chance of a spotted ray, which is very unusual. For this here. coastline, it is, as we've been told. They, this yeah. year, they've seen them starting to show. But one thing I found very interesting, we were on Facebook this morning, there was actually a blonde ray pulled off his beak yesterday. Not very big, three or four pound mark. Yep. It was on the top of the box, but definitely 100% blonde. So, um, yeah, it's, just, it's nice to see. Yeah, but it's unusual the cattle as definitely, well, wasn't the point, it? Like it's the not like said. they get them yeah. all the time. No, definitely you know? not. But the conditions wise, it's quite dirty fairly flat hopefully we can see a few hounds come through got dan bassett rob york and adam slack come up to take advantage of the old nest coast yeah why not yeah why and, not more uh, rods in the water more chance of getting the fish we are after yeah definitely So we have the overall winner of last year's competition, Mr. Chris Fisher. How are you doing, mate? You're yeah, right. Good, thanks. So how's it been? A lot of fishing going on up here? Yeah, a bit. Yeah. When not I'm not much. When I'm not pond fishing. Oh yeah, you do yeah. a bit of pond fishing as well then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been sea fishing overall then? Um, uh, twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. But you love all angling, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You do a lot of pond fishing. So when when do you normally like, what sort of time of year do you normally hit the sea? Um, probably October till. Beginning of April. Yeah, and then go straight over to the pond sort yeah, of side yeah. of it. The carp? Yeah. Uh, no, just match fishing. Oh, just match sort of side yeah, of it, yeah. yeah. You're into your match fishing then? Yeah, yeah. So, um, always lived on this sort of coastline? Yeah, I've always lived in Alborough. Yeah? So, yeah. a lot of knowledge of the general coastline yeah. from the European Open. Yeah, yeah. So, how many years have, actually, have you actually fished it? Um, say in total, maybe nine, ten. Nine times, yeah. Place before, the, obviously, last, last year? Yeah, year before I was fed. Yeah? And then never weighed in it any other match. No? No. <laughs> So, for like homework leading up to the competition, you, you're out and about, obviously you're, you're just trying to find out where, where, where things are, where the, where the best places to fish and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Is that sort of, sort of thing you've done leading up to the, the, last year's event? Yeah, look to see where I'd fish, if it was going to be rough. Yeah. 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 So, so Saturday morning, you, you, you've got your bait, you're ready to go, walk me through it. Yeah, go up at three o'clock, yep. on beach for quarter to four. Could have got my spot at quarter to nine. <laughs> Could you? The only yeah. person there? No, I wasn't the only person there, but no one had like no. gone to where I wanted to fish. No. Um, and then just sat, went up to a couple of my mates on the beach, had a bacon sausage sandwich. Yeah. Um, then Tom, Tom to start fishing. Yeah. And then someone got one first chill. Did they? To my left. And then I got got one about three and a half pounds. Pounds. Yeah. On the first turn, after about an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yards just out. the one fish on the on the first day. Yeah, that cuddling, cuddling and a whiting. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you come back the first day, over the moon. Yeah, got, yeah. The, got the scoreboard. Just outside the uh, places on the Saturday. Yeah. So good advantage to going with on the Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So Sunday game plan. Same spot. Yeah, same spot. Not it. Down, you not just gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Lost the fish off. Good fish. After about two hours. Did you? Yeah. 
want to kick some sand about. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Nothing worse than a competition nah. and losing, especially when you're like fishing at that level. Yeah. And then with an hour and a half to go, slap Lana. Yeah. My biggest fish over the weekend, just probably six pound. Yeah. And then chuck after that, I got one four and a half. Get on. That's what. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. Did you? Were you fishing and getting that type of fish before the competition, leading up the weeks before? Um, not really. There was the odd one about. I was doing decent in club matches and whatnot, yeah. but it was normally just when it was rough. The club right. seemed to be doing. Because last year was a bit well. different, wasn't it? Because obviously the year previous years I've been up there, it's always been really cold. Yeah. Last year I was walking around in a t-shirt. Yeah, it was. You know what I mean? It was, it was quite nice. Mild. The sea was quite like laid out, and um, it looked really skatey to me. Yeah, uh, I'm you know, surprised. But a lot of the guys last year educated me a little bit with it because down our way it fishes a lot better sometimes when it's rough. Yeah. But where they were saying when it's flat conditions like it is a bit today better for the cod yeah well I, I prefer it a bit more sea on personally yeah, yeah. yeah but i think you get the bigger fish when it's calm do you yeah 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 definitely definitely so we've got uh, we've got a few down here today we've got obviously glenn yeah we've got his lad um josh. josh and we've got a few of the saa lads down in the boat what what do you think we're going to have out here today um hopefully some small bones bass maybe a codlin Spotted, got a chance of spotted. Yeah, spotted. I've only ever caught one. Yeah. Um, form backs. Form backs. Plenty of dogfish, I reckon. Mixed bag, yeah. really. A lot different bait wise than you would if you were fishing the European Open. Oh, because yeah. obviously, down in the day, it's June, you're going to be at sand deals, you're going to be squids, maybe a yeah. bit of bluey, crab, yeah. and um, different approach than you would obviously. What would your bait be if you obviously, you're going out next year, you're going to try and win it again, what's, what's, what's on your bait list? Black lug. Definitely. Is that, if you only could pick one bait to take, would it be blacks? Them or yellow tails. Yeah. 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 Um, squid. Yeah. Mussel. Mussel? You like yeah. a bit of mussel? Yeah. 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 Um, sometimes raise a fish. Bit of, bit of cocktail in there, yeah, really. Yeah. 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 Just want to see what's working to pull the fish out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, it seems good conditions. And um, obviously, Adam and. Uh, Rob and um, Dan Bassett, they've been looking forward to coming up and having a go for the smooth bounce. Yeah. They enjoyed it last year, coming up and having a go for the cod. Yeah. And um, obviously with the weather, it's starting to rain a little bit. No. Isn't it? it didn't give that forecast, did it? No. But um, yeah. Should be a few smooth bounds. You think? Yeah. They've been leading up to it? Had a they've few been the odd one. I had two the other night. But. I've seen on the reports they had a few smooth bounds, like uh, approaching like small doubles, but you yeah. get them up to 20 pound off this coastline, don't you? Yeah, maybe a little bit further down. Yeah. You get doubles here, but big yeah. doubles a bit further down, just past women's sea. So, negativity side of it. You yeah. didn't obviously get to get the appreciation you deserved with mm. the overall win last year. Um, obviously, it must be a bit devastating for yourself. Yeah, it was a bit annoyed. The worst thing about it was not obviously being presented the trophy on the night. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually obviously the main thing. It was it was a very good year last year and I, I really enjoyed it and it was one of the negative parts of it. And I think the way the um, organisers of the event handled it was superb. Oh yeah. Uh, because they, they were on the ball with it straight away. And um, at the end of the day, when with a competition that big, and it, well, you get it all the way around the Euro Europe, really. If you get that on the on a competition scale that big with money and like that involved, you're always going to bring in the chance of cheating. Yeah. And you've got always got to try and eliminate that. But I think with the way it turned out, the organisers have actually proved you're not going to you, you can't cheat that event. No. You're not going to get away with it. And the way and the power of social media, especially. Is 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 done it justice, I think. Yeah. From that side of it, but yeah. from your side of it, obviously, it's a uh, it's a big one, isn't it, to win? I think a lot of a lot of match anglers from around Europe they come to fish this event, yeah. and everybody wants to win it. And it's one of those which, it's a very hard competition to win, I think, because yeah. I fished it. I reckon I probably fished it six times, and I've never placed. No. Never caught fish, honestly. Me and Nick, Nick's done it for a few more times than me, and yeah, I've had codlin and stuff like that, but never enough in weighable, like no. No, nothing in size. But to be able to, like, obviously third place the year before, that's a that's a fantastic achievement oh, in yeah. itself. Yeah. And to win it, obviously this year as well, is um, yeah, definitely game on. But um, what's your plans for next year then? Um, same as last two years. Yeah. Yeah. Similar S spot. Spot. If it's right. Yeah. Right on the day as well. You, you tend to stick mid-boundary, or do you tend to go 
red end or not no. going to give a little bit away? <laughs> Don't give too much no, away. No, no, no. People who normally know where I fish, but yeah, 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 same sort of same spot that. every week usually. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, hell of an achievement. Spent your money yet? Next week. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, bathroom. We got, oh, you got a new bathroom coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Non-stop, non-stop. Guys, well here I am with Sunday's winner from the Paul Rogerman Open European Beach Championships, uh, Glenn, good friend of ours, as Just you can see, a member of the Sea Angling Adventures Angling team. So uh, on the Sunday, mate, where did you get your fish? <laughs> and they all want to know. <laughs> well, I'll say Grimston. Right, Grimston. Yeah. Yeah. Um, over the years, a lot of decent fish have come from the area. Um, it was quiet on the Saturday. Yeah. Um, a lot of people was fishing. Um, a few small fish came out. Nothing to really get excited about. The sea was fairly flat. Um, there wasn't a lot of movement. Um, gut instinct. Sunday, go back to the same place. Right. Everybody else chasing where the fish come from on the Saturday. So they've moved. Um, so they moved. Yeah. Um, so there was a few anglers on the beach, but nowhere near as many. Um, I think we was on the beach at about four o'clock in the morning yeah. to get our spot. Um, Turned up on the Sunday, four o'clock same time, the beach was dead. I was like, bummer. <laughs> you know, that's the way it is. Yeah. So we sat it out and waited for the match to start. Um, got set up, had a bacon sandwich and got organised. Had a bit of a laugh with the lads, the four-man team that was with us yeah. on that. Yeah. And um, it started off a bit slow, a bit steady, a few little fish. My son caught a few whiting and flatties and bits and bobs that he, he weighed in and come to win the match with. Um, and about three hours before top of tide, um, I put a, a yellow tail on and a snake white, um, cast him out, give him five minutes and I just got a little tap like a flatfish. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I've just chucked that bait out for a flatfish, I'll give it a few minutes, see if it progresses. Um, it gave me a little tap like a whiting. I picked my rod up, I was on my 16 foot K2, yeah. quite a soft rod with braid, um, pulley rig, yeah. long pulley rig. Um, and it just gave me a little tap like a flatty bite in my hand and I struck it, my rod buckled over. And I wound him in nice and steady, and I thought it was about maybe a six pounder because it's a fairly soft rod. Um, I got him about 50 yards off me, and it started giving me a bit of action and a bit of pull. He started coming in sideways across the front of me. Yeah. Um, got him onto the beach, um, and obviously it was a little bit bigger than six pound. Yeah, um, it was. Wasn't absolute it, mate? cracking fish, yeah. cracking fight. Yeah. Um, there was a bit more sea on on the Sunday, um, a bit more movement. Um, I like a lot of movement rather yeah. than it fairly flat. A lot of people like it flat, I like it fairly rough. Um, but it's everybody to their own. Um, the areas I fish seem to fish better when there's a bit of run on and a bit of swell on. Yeah. Um, to me, that's how I fish. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do it and that's personal preference. Um, but there's mixed species of fish where we fish. Um, there's mixed species of fish on the weather conditions and the tide conditions. 
um, it just depends on what you're trying to target on the day. Yeah. Um, when you're fishing a match like the um, at the British Open, you're looking for any fish that'll, that's a weighing and will count of for course, gross yeah, chase for yeah, an aggregate. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't do so good on the Saturday, um, but the Sunday was the winning day for me, which I was absolutely over the moon with. Yeah. Um, We've got some decent bait off, off a local lad, a lad called Matt Tong. Yeah. Um, he supplies me with some decent bait and crab and yellowtails. If I can't get out and dig any myself and put them in my tank um, to keep it until matches. Um, but he always sorts me out with some decent bait, fresh and frozen. Um, he's a real nice guy, he always looks after us. Um, and just remember that for future if you ever yeah, fishing. Yeah, of course. He's Glenn, on Facebook, Matt Tong, he's, yeah. he's a real nice bloke. Yeah. Um, he does a lot of fishing himself, so he's got a lot of experience. Does he fish the competition? He has fished it over over the years. I don't yeah. think he fished this year's. Right. But, um, yeah. but I think he does fish it over the years. But if he fishes it next year, then you can introduce him yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah. It'll be nice to meet the yeah. guy, you it's, know. It, it, it's local. Um, sometimes with wet commitments, I can't always get to a tackle shop to get bait. Yeah, yeah. And his Andy's on the doorstep. It's reasonably priced, um, and the bait's absolutely cracking. And what more, you know? Yeah. Good rigs, good distance, the good bait tends to find you some good fish from time to time. So over the years, Glenn. Um, with the um, beach championships, how often have you fished it? Have you have, fished it been recent or have you been I've doing fished it about quite a while? Four. You no. fished about yeah, this four. is my fourth one. Yeah. Um, so in the four years that you've actually fished, yeah. how much? I mean, it's four years is a short time for a comp because it's only it's only once a year. Yeah. But have you seen it change much over those four years? Yeah. I mean, I can remember when um, when it was up at um, Mackey's up at yeah, Bridlington, yeah, yeah. Um, and I used to fish it with my dad. Yeah. Um, my dad and the lad he used to fish with, um, who's been a winner over the years. Yeah. Um, I think he won three years ago. Did a lot I've, of golf. I've film. met your dad. Um, and um, you know, I'd fish on the beach with them, not as a competitor, just just as yeah. fish as pleasure. Um, and it was always a big event, even up up at Bridlington. Um, and then I believe it moved to Wither and Sea um, Leisure Centre. Yeah, I think we did one there one year, um, and then it's moved to where it and is now. It's now moved to Saint Yeah, um, cracking place to have it. Yeah, um, big big venue. It's a massive but, camp, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's plenty of room for people to get in, get packed. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's ideal really, and it's in the middle of where everywhere everybody fishes. It is, yeah, because when you look at from like Bridlington to Spurn. It's near enough central, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and everybody's um, got the sort of same travelling distance and time yeah, to get yeah, to the yeah. weigh-in. It's not, yeah. it's not unfair. It's for not like you're at Spurn and then you've got to go all the way to Brendan. No, no. Which is a feral drive, and yeah. you would have to time leaving it to yeah. get there for the weigh-in. Yeah. And if you hit traffic or there was an accident, and yeah, uh, there's all fish. sorts of variations. Yeah. And if you've got a decent fish in the car, yeah. And and you don't get to the weigh-in in time, it's uh, you know it's a big thing. Yeah, that. it's yeah, a yeah. big thing. Um, I think it's probably the best place where they've had the venue. Yeah. Um, I think if it continues to be there, yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll be, grow even it'll more. Grow more yeah, yeah, without a doubt, um, mate. Yeah, without a, a doubt. lot of a lot of people don't fish the match, um, you know, which is a bit of a shame. But a lot of people don't like fishing matches. Yeah. Some people just fish the matches. Some people just fish for pleasure. Um, we tend to fish a lot of open local matches. We don't join fish for a club. And um, we fish the open matches for a bit of a jolly with my son. Yeah. Which meet soon. Um, and then. You know, and um, we fish this one, and we always tend to fish the same place. Now, you Every say year. fishing with your son, he's turning out to be quite a competitor, yeah. young Josh, yeah. isn't he, mate? Yeah, yeah. Look at the yeah. smile on his face, guys. <laughs> yeah, he, well, um, he's been kicking some backside, hasn't yeah, he, mate? Yeah, and well, yours is one of them. Yeah, well, this, this year, obviously, Josh will be my partner because he's yeah. not in the juniors, he's in the adults. Yeah, he's so, up with the big boys yeah, now, isn't he, from next year? He'll be with me this, year, this coming year, yeah. um, and we'll fish exactly the same place. Nice. Exactly the same venue, everything yeah. will be exactly the same. We tend to fish that where we fish just for that match. Yeah. We don't tend to pleasure fish there. Um, over the years we've fished there and we've had 15, 20 fish. Yeah. Nothing worth weighing in all under size, but we've been amongst the fish, um, which, you know, it's just on the day if that big fish is there, it's there and, you know. Let me go back to the Sunday you had that cod, mm. all right? And bearing in mind, there was some decent cod caught on the Saturday as yeah. well. Um, and when you pulled that cod in, did you at any time think to yourself, hmm, this could be a winner? No, um, I thought the sea conditions and I thought the weather conditions and what had come out on the Saturday, yeah. I thought a skate or a smooth down might just pip me. You yeah. know? Um, because I mean, we've had some decent skate over the years. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. Me and Josh have both had skate, dogfish, smooth downs. We've had a variety of fish. 
and I honestly thought that a skate would win that day. Yeah. Um, I packed up a little bit earlier just to make sure that I got back to the way in. Yeah. Um, and luckily enough, I was quite early in one of the fests there. Um, I walked in with it, got him on the scales. Um, I think he weighed eight, eight and a half pounds. Yeah, it was um, a beaut. I remember the, taking all the photos out the back with that one. On, on the beach when we weighed him, I think he weighed eight, eight pounds nine. Yeah. Obviously, they lose a little bit. In, yeah. In, like, but it didn't lose them. a lot, did it? it no, lose no, a no. Lot. Um, bear in mind, I had him in water for three hours. Yeah. I caught him three hours before the top of the tad. Um, and it was just that one fish. I tried to find his brother, but he just wasn't there, unfortunately. <laughs> it was good for us, really, to see you go up on stage yeah. with um, Seattle Adventures top on, yeah. receiving your prize. And then even even better for you as a dad, mm. and as your son as an angler, who I'm going to interview in a yeah. minute, um, to see him go up as uh, overall juniors mm -hmm. winner. Absolutely fantastic. He fishes all weather, all conditions. I know, yeah, yeah. All up and down the coast, rock fishing, beach fishing. He fishes, you know, cat fishing, any fishing. You've just got to talk to him and you can see with the way he talks about what he does, how much passion he's yeah, got for his, it. his dedication you is know? just fishing. And that's uh, obviously gets that from you because yeah. you've been fishing most of your yeah. life, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, to you be know? fair, he did a lot of fishing with my dad when he was a lot younger. Yeah. Um, which, you know, wet commitments and things yeah, like yeah. that, you can't always get on the beach and fish when you want to. Yeah. And he did a lot of fishing with his granddad uh, and his granddad can fish. You yeah. know, he's he's had some stonking fish over the years in the in this competition as well. Yeah. Um. It was it was over the moon that we'd got first place. He's never had that achievement. They've always been fourth, fifth, eighth, seventh with, yeah. with a bag full of fish. Um. But he's never had the achievement of coming first with a. But it's a, a, getting a, it's getting on that prize table, isn't yeah. it? It's getting on, trying to work your way up to first spot. It's, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's it's hard because you're competing against so many anglers. Yeah. Yeah. But. At the end of the day, it's like your venue you choose, you do your homework on. Yeah. And I know some of the lads that come from afar, they still do their homework. Because like us, you're sort of, um, I'm going to say, uh, he's sort of our contact guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, we sort of speak to him a couple of weeks before we come in up. I keep in touch with Glenn a lot. And we get an idea of what's fishing, where, and we let our boys know. And then they can make a choice where they want to go, yeah. you know. Yeah. And there's always availability or access if you get there early in the morning yeah yeah you've you got know? to get your spot out because i know some guys that have said they actually stay on the beach overnight yeah you know they yeah. don't fish they just stay on the beach so they've got their spot for that next yeah. day when, that's when, how important it is to them when we got on the beach at four o'clock in the morning yeah there was anglers already on the beach with campfires yeah little the fires dark, yeah 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 the there's one just beside <laughs> us here which we might show you in a minute tight up against the cliff top yeah and we was like People here I've done it, Glenn. You know, I've done it. Um, I know what it's like. But, but as, as a pleasure fisherman, yeah. and to see Josh come on the way he has, I couldn't be any prouder. Yeah, he really mate. has come yeah. on some over the years with his casting, his, his bait preparation. Um, you know, and he just loves it. And it's great to see him. I just love. I love talking to him earlier because he was just. Oh, he's just so on it. Yeah. You know, he yeah, really yeah. is. Yeah. But anyway, there you have it. This is Sunday's winner, Mr. Glenn Wilson, and. Mate, as always, it's been a pleasure. And a pleasure. All right, and it you always do. will be, Glenn. Mate. All right, you take care, Good. mate. We'll go get some rubbish. So I'm going to let him go back now and catch some more fish. <laughs> Cheers, guys.
All right, guys, well, I've had to drag young Josh Wilson away from his rods, which he's not too happy about, because he is fishing mad. But just to let you know, Josh came second on a Saturday, second on a Sunday, but he was overall junior champion. That was his last year as a junior, and you won the championship. Oh. So, well done. Cheers, mate. And that's the first time you won the championship, yeah. I'll take it. it yeah, overall. It was my last year, I thought, right, I'll set the stall out. Yeah. Try and fish my best, and I managed to do it. Yeah, brilliant. And now next year, you're up with the big boys, as they say, fishing the seniors, aren't you? It'll be hard against all them lads, but you've just got to persevere, aren't you? That's just right, mate. And I've, I'm watching Josh today, the dedication he's got for his bait presentation, um, his bait preparation, the way he looks after his bait, the rigs that he uses, coupled with the rods and reels, it's, uh, it's you're pretty dedicated, mate, aren't you, all the way through? Yeah. You know, and you're just talking to your dad earlier, how proud he was of you. And how proud we were as well to see your dad go up on stage. Yeah. And then you go up on stage as a champion. And you're both part of the Sea Angling Adventures uh, team, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, good for us, good for you yeah. and good for the whole competition as a whole. It, it, it promotes the uh, um, so, company, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, in, in how many way. years have you been fishing this comp? I, my dad's fished it four, I've fished it three. I've only been fishing yep. three years myself. That's what, in I, total? Yeah. God. I fished, I fished like the old time with my granddad when I was younger, yeah. but I've never, I never, I won't like I am now. Fished for about three years. And three years, and I've, I've been I've... fishing that competition three years. That's when I first started yep. fishing. And we we had, we was fishing at um, Grimston just up the road. We had loads of little fish, but nothing to weigh in, but that was our first year, and we just got into it. and got all of them back and we've um, just gone from there really. I think it's brilliant mate what you've done and just to watch you today the way you go about what you're doing with your dad uh, it's pretty look I'd say it's like looking at a mirror image <laughs> you know what I mean you both seem to do the same thing one after another exactly the same as the other one's doing it without even looking at each other <laughs> you know and I've, uh, we were sat here me and Andy and I said look look watch Joss now watch Glenn What's Josh? What's Glenn? It's like a mirror image. But you can see that all the stuff that you've taken in over the short time that you've been fishing, your dedication and that. Um, would you say this is your number one hobby then? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Uh, and it's something that you we'll really enjoy still for my lifetime. Yeah. It's just pleasurable. You just go sit on the beach and have a day's fishing, can't you? Yeah. Listen to your dad the way he was talking about you earlier, and I was speaking to him on the beach earlier as well. Um, about um, the dedication for fishing, but also how much the enjoyment it gives yeah. you both, like you know. And he says he, you you do try to fish together a lot, don't you? Yeah. You know? When um, even if he's at work, I try and fit it in when I can. But it's hard with him at work and this that other. But I, yeah. I sometimes try and fit it in, and if not, well then we've got to go together. Okay. Late nights, early mornings. Whatever. Let's give the guys a bit of an insight here. Yeah? Okay. Saturday. Rig and bait. What um, did you get your um, your top fish on? Pull with penal with just a single yellow tail. That was it. That's all I was fishing. Get on. Nice one. Sunday? Um, exactly the same. Yeah. See? Uh, just like it's dad. Exactly the same. I only managed two fish on the Sunday and one was weighable. One was weighable. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was it. It was, it was a bit slower on the Sunday. Like. Did you fish with your dad both days? Yeah. I was right. next to him both days. Yeah. He always seems to keep the bait. He never gives me any. <laughs> I've always got to go to him and get it, which is a bit of a pain. Do you think he's a bit worried about you, Josh? Possibly, yeah. Because you've booted his backside a few times, haven't you, in competitions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Which, which he freely admits, I will tell you that. Yeah. He freely admits that. But you can tell the way he talks about it, how proud he is of what you've learned, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, just overall for the competition itself, I know you've only been doing it three years, but. Um, do you think, like, in that three years, have you seen much of a change? Do you see it, like, um, has it grown much? I, I think, know it's only three years that you've fished it. I think it has grown quite a bit, but it helps the weather, because a lot of people don't tend to buy the ticket until the day before. Yes. It's an early weekend, weather's never everything good. We'll go stand in the sunshine and fish. If it's stormy, real big sea, six foot swells, they work. And the, be the better the forecast, the better the weather, the more people it, it draws in. Yeah. We could yeah, yeah. rather stand on a sunny day than when it isn't in this poor weather. So that weather that we had earlier in the, this year, yeah. was that exceptional for that competition? Yes, that's the best weather that I've known it to get on in three yeah. years. We fished one year, it was six, seven foot swells and just, you can't fish. 
You can, but right. it's just hard. Um, in that sort of conditions, were there many fish weighed in? There's quite a few weighed in, I think, yeah. Yeah. From all over the coast. You don't want one particular spot so, that fish did. Right, so, so even if it's rough weather, you can still fish. Say you fish the same mark every mm. time, yeah. you could still, there's still a chance yeah. of catching fish. Rough seas, they're there. You've just got to yeah. try your hardest to get that distance. Everything else. That's exactly what Chris Fisher told us. We fished next to him one year, yeah. I think it was the last the year before last. Yeah. It was a, that was when it was like seven foot swells. Yeah. With a five and a half pound cod. It just get shows that they're there, you just need to persevere, yeah. Yeah. Sit on your rod and hopefully that. I think that's where the word dedication comes yeah. in, mate, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Sit on your rod, watch your at all times, can't take your eye off it. Right. So you're looking forward to next year? Yeah. I'm looking forward to trying beating my dad next yeah. year, hopefully. <laughs> Might take a bit of beating, but all the yeah. other people. I'm like, look oh. at him looking up now, like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that he's a bit worried about you, mate. I, I really do. Be, yeah. But at the end of the day, that's the good thing in it, is having that camaraderie and also that competition against each other, yeah. as well as all the other anglers, yeah. you know? And I noticed that when you were in the camp, that there was a you know a lot of anglers as yeah. well, don't you? Because yeah. you were flitting around the room, chatting to different yeah. people, you know? It's, it's actually great to see. I mean, even at a young age, for you and like some of the older anglers, I find with fishing myself, there's is always something to learn. Yeah, there is. You know, and yeah. even at my age now and at your dad's age, we're still learning all yeah. the time. There's always you know? something that someone else will teach that you didn't know. Yeah. Or just that little tip yeah. to make all the difference. It could be down to a knot, a type of hook, yeah. the length of a snood, Beer, anything, couldn't anything, it? Anything, yeah. yeah. Anything at all. Well, look, mate. I'm, it was a great pleasure meeting you, it really is, and it was at the uh, uh, the comp this year. Yeah. But um, I'm going to root for you next year, bud. Uh, All right? right? I'm going to root for you, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. And once again, well done for Cheers. being the overall champion on your last year as a junior. We'll and you're, a, you're up with the big boys now, and I'm, let's hope you can boot some backside. But, All yeah. right? Especially that one there. <laughs> <laughs> you take care, mate. Cheers. Absolutely brilliant. Well guys, so here you have it. East Island of Yorkshire coastline produces... What can you say? Booty. It's green right off, doesn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Peter Crab bait. That's what we come up here for. That's what's been produced. Job done. Get returned to fight another day. That's the end to the 2019 Christmas special. I'd like to thank Chris Fisher, Glenn Wilson and Josh Wilson for their time and education and hints and tips on fishing the event and we look forward to seeing you once again in March. 
to the next time.